All right, here we go. This is gonna be the first of many Navica training videos. So this one's just as you start out uh, getting into Navica. The board office has to give you a login name and password. Uh, once they give you your login name and password, you can change your password, you keep the same login. So you might ask them uh, to make it something simple but your computer should remember it once you put it in. So I'm gonna put mine in. And it remembers my username. So I hit enter. Log in. The first two things you really need to do when you log into Navica is your screen will not look like this. We'll work on that later. But you need to set up your your information. So you need to click on maintenance. And then we're doing office, office agent maintenance up here at the top. And uh, some of this information might be drawn from the when you signed up, but if it's not, you need to just fix it. So it's got my password in there. It's got my email address, my contact number. This is one that's going to display with the listing. So you want to put your contact number rather than maybe the office phone. There are blanks for other numbers to put in there. I just put my cell phone. There's a text message number. I'm not sure what this where they use this but I put it in because I do text so I've got it in there email signature if you email listings to anybody you can click to add your signature to all listings going out this is easy so if you send one they'll have all your contact info so just put your info in there just like you would do on an email signature and then you can put your website our website address which is sanangeloera.com the membership email I would check check yes this means you can receive email from other agents or in the MLS and you can send emails to other agents not everyone signed up but I would say sign yes on that once you fill all that in just click save that part is done now we go back to the home page the uh, main thing on this home page is if you can see, I've got in the middle, I've got my market activity with new listings, solds, withdrawns, expireds, and under contracts. You can have five fields here or view all activity. There's also price changes. I prefer to have withdrawns and expired so I can see them because I like to send stuff out to those people or go see them and try to list those expired and withdrawns. Um, and then I've also got an address MLS search where I can put in a street name or a street number and pull up all the houses on that street or MLS. This is really good for floor. So if someone calls in and they saw a house on Southland, they just don't know the address. You can just write South L active only and hit search. It's going to bring up all the active listings on Southland. So we've got a couple on there. So if someone called for one of our listings on Southland, rather than pulling up just that property, I would pull up all five and so I could tell that person, well, we've got this one here. There's also five more or four more on Southland. So to get this box on your homepage, what you need to do is go to resources and my Navica settings about halfway down. Click that. You'll see this crazy looking screen. Column one is where my calendar was and these other two links that I don't use. Column two was my market activity, which was the new listings. And column three, yours probably will have safe searches, prospects, and CMAs. What you need to do is, over here on the left, there should be an address MLS search. Click on that and click add on what column you want it to go to. It's going to stick it at the bottom. So I'm going to click on it and move it up to the top. So that's my most used field by far that and market activity. You can play around with these other ones to put in there too, uh, but really you're going to use the address MLS search and the market activity more than anything. Uh, we'll get to save and searches later because I do have my save searches in here and it can hold so many save searches, but you can save as many searches as you want. That's going to be another lesson. So that's the main thing. Once you get that, you can go back to your home page. Should now look similar to this and so I've got my 
search, my saved listings, and then my market activity. So I can click on that new listings every day and see what new homes have come on the market. Um, that's pretty much it. That's the first thing you need to do when you log into Navigo. And then we can start learning on searching and saving searches, and setting up prospects to receive emails. So that'll be in a future one. But there's five minutes and 25 seconds. So do that and then we'll move on.